We need to talk about the future of a Mac desktop and specifically the tiny box that has redefined what we expect from a computer. If you thought the M4 Mac Mini was the absolute peak of Apple's engineering, you might want to hold that thought. Or, perhaps more accurately, you should hold on to your wallet. We are looking ahead to 2026. That sounds like a lifetime away in the tech world, but the leaks for the M5 Mac Mini are already spilling out from the supply chain, and they are painting a very complicated, almost mysterious picture. Apple is setting the stage for the next generation of silicon. But if you look past the shiny marketing and the inevitable hype, the story is actually quite conservative. We're going to break down every single detail today. We are looking at the processor speeds, the confusing core counts, the controversial design choices, and the price tag that refuses to budge despite global inflation. Is this the upgrade we have been waiting for? Or is Apple simply coasting on its massive success? Let's dive deep into the world of M5. To understand where we're going with the M5, we have to look at the heart of the machine, the silicon. The M5 and M5 Pro chips are coming, and while they will be faster, we need to manage our expectations. Don't expect the earth-shattering leap we saw when Apple first ditched Intel for the M1. That was a once-in-a-decade shift. The early reports for the 2026 Mac Mini are framing this as a major internal upgrade, but the numbers tell a much more nuanced story. We are looking at a CPU performance uplift of about 10% to 15% over the M4. Now, in the real world, a 10% jump is fine. It is decent. But for a full generational jump two years from now, that is hardly something to throw a party about. It feels like we are hitting a plateau where raw speed is becoming less about muscle and more about efficiency. Apple is focusing on how much work can be done per watt, rather than just chasing higher clock speeds that drain power and create heat. So if the CPU isn't the star of the show, what is? It looks like Apple is going to pivot their marketing strategy entirely toward graphics and artificial intelligence. The leaks suggest Apple will lean incredibly hard on GPU performance, with claims of up to 45% faster graphics. That is a massive number compared to the minor CPU gains. But here is the catch that you need to be aware of. You have to read the fine print. The GPU core count is expected to remain unchanged at 10 cores for the base model. You might be wondering, how do you get 45% more speed without adding more cores? The answer lies in the architecture. It is all about internal tweaks, better caching, and AI-focused enhancements. Apple is likely optimizing the chip to handle the heavy lifting of complex rendering and local AI models without physically making the chip bigger or more expensive to produce. For the power users and the creative professionals, the M5 Pro is where the real conversation starts. But even here, Apple is playing it incredibly safe. As expected, we're going to see two versions of the Pro chip to maximize yield from the factories. There will be a bin version and a fully unleashed version. The bin model is rumored to come with a 14-core CPU, which is likely going to be a split of four efficiency cores and 10 performance cores. It is powerful, sure, but if you want the real deal, the unbin version pushes that count to a 16-core configuration. This beast will likely feature 12 performance cores alongside those same four efficiency cores. It is a monster on paper, designed specifically for video editors, 3D developers, and software engineers who eat multi-threading for breakfast. However, we all know that raw power is nothing without memory. And this is where the story gets a little frustrating for the longtime fans. We expect memory options for the Pro model to start at 24 gigabytes and top out at 48 gigabytes or 64 gigabytes. Storage will likely range from a standard 512 gigabytes all the way up to four terabytes. None of this is surprising. In fact, it is exactly what we have come to expect from the Apple ecosystem. And that is exactly the problem. None of these specs address the long-standing complaints about Apple's storage pricing. We are heading into 2026, and paying a premium for storage that costs pennies on the dollar in the PC world is becoming a very hard pill to swallow. If you want to upgrade from 512 gigabytes to 1 terabyte, Apple usually charges a massive markup. By 2026, we were hoping for a change in this philosophy, but the leaks suggest the Apple tax on storage is here to stay. This brings us to the physical design of the machine. At the end of 2024, Apple finally gave us what we wanted, a total redesign. After nearly 15 years of using that same aluminum square, the M4 Mac Mini was a breath of fresh air. It was smaller, sleeker, and honestly, a value king. The M4 shipped with a full non-bin chip, 16 gigabytes of RAM as the standard, and a 10-core GPU. 
It felt generous. It felt like Apple was finally listening to the community. But for the 2026 M5 model, don't hold your breath for another makeover. The M5 Mac Mini is expected to look exactly the same as the M4. And when I say exactly the same, I mean it includes the flaws too. Yes, I'm talking about the power button. The M4 introduced that awkward rear-mounted or rather bottom-mounted power button that forces you to reach under or tilt the device just to turn it on. Users complained loudly. Reviewers mocked it. It became a tech meme instantly. And yet, the 2026 model is expected to keep it right there. It seems Apple has decided that their specific internal layout overrides daily function. Or perhaps they just assume you never turn your Mac off. Either way, the physical chassis is staying stagnant for the next few years. Let's talk about the base experience, because this is the model that sells in the millions. This is the M5 standard model. The memory options here are expected to stay stuck at 16 gigabytes, 24 gigabytes, and 32 gigabytes. There's a small glimmer of hope, a rumor from the supply chain, that the base storage might finally move to 512 gigabytes across the board. But the fact that we are even saying might for 512 gigabytes in the year 2026 says a lot about Apple's priorities. We live in an era of 8K video, massive game files, and local AI models that require huge datasets. 256 gigabytes is barely enough for an operating system and a few professional apps today, let alone in two years. If Apple sticks to 256 gigabytes as the entry level, it will be a major controversy. If they move to 512 gigabytes, it won't be a celebration. It would just be them finally catching up to the industry standard that PCs hit years ago. So, when can you actually get your hands on this incremental update? The timeline seems pretty set in stone according to Apple's historical release cycles. According to current leaks, Apple plans to announce the M5 Mac Mini at WWDC 2026. For those who don't follow the tech calendar closely, that is typically held in the first full week of June. You can expect availability to follow shortly after, likely around mid-June. It is a long wait for what essentially sounds like a spec bump. Finally, we have to talk about the price. In a world where inflation is hitting every sector of the economy, there's actually some good news. Pricing is expected to remain unchanged. The base M5 model should start at that sweet spot of $599. The M5 Pro version will likely sit at roughly $1,399. The $599 price point is crucial for Apple. It is what makes the Mac Mini the best value in computing. Even with the incremental CPU gains and the questionable storage policies, getting that level of performance for under $600 is incredibly hard to beat by any competitor. Here's my honest take on all of this. The M4 Mac Mini was a revolution because it changed the value proposition. It gave us 16 gigabytes of RAM standard and a brand new, tiny footprint. The M5, by comparison, feels like an evolution. It is a safe, calculated step forward by a company that knows it is winning. It is not trying to reinvent the wheel. It is just trying to make the wheels spin a little faster, specifically for graphics and AI tasks. If you're currently using an M1 or an Intel-based Mac, the M5 will be a massive, life-changing jump. But if you just bought an M4, you can sleep easy. You aren't missing out on a world-changing update. Ultimately, Apple is settling into a predictable rhythm. The hardware is mature. The gains are marginal. The excitement is shifting from how fast is the chip to what can the software do with it. The M5 Mac Mini will be a great computer, undoubtedly, but it won't be a surprising one. It is a tiny powerhouse that just got a little better, not different. My best opinion on this product? The M5 Mac Mini is the refinement model. If you want the most stable, most optimized version of the new small design, the M5 is the one to wait for. However, if you need a computer today, the M4 is. So good that waiting two years for a 15% boost isn't worth it. Apple is focusing on AI, Apple intelligence. And the M5 is clearly being built to run those features faster than anything else. What do you think? Is a 15% CPU boost enough to make you wait until 2026? Or is the current M for the real winner here? Does the power button location bother you as much as it bothers me? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I read as many as I can. If you like the video, subscribe, share the video, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update on the future of tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.